Do you want to open your third eye, blast off into the universe, go into another dimension, raise your spiritual awareness? Well, there's eight things that are blocking your third eye. And I want to give you a warning. These are things that you're doing statistically every single day. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, beautiful people from all over the world. My name is Jake Ducey, and if you're a returner, I wanna welcome you back to today's video. If you are new, I wanna thank you for watching, and I wanna remind you to get my free financial success hypnosis. It's right there down below, pinned to the comments and in the description to reprogram your subconscious mind, to turn it into a magnet, to create and attract what you want. Number one, blocking your third eye is fluoride, chlorine, and other chemicals that are in your water. If you don't believe me, just Google what's in your water. You'll find that it's full of fluoride. You'll find it's full of chlorine, other heavy metals. One time I went to Washington, D.C., and I'd never been there before. My friend's house that I was staying at said, right when I got into the house, I need to warn you, do not drink the water here. He said that they even found remnants of birth control in the water. So we don't really realize it, but we're drinking water that if it's not contaminated, it's full of a lot of toxins. And these toxins calcify your pineal gland. One of the simplest things that you can do is find a maybe a, a local company that delivers spring water have that delivered to your house. Think about this. The, the human body is what, 70, 80% water? The human brain's what, 70, 80% full of all of this water, your brain, your body? Well, we're replenishing it with contaminated water. <laughs> Might be full of birth control and it's going into your cells, chlorine, right? Like chlorine's in our tap water. Why would we drink that? I mean, if I went out and I said, and you said, man, Jake, I'm really thirsty. And I said, okay, let me get you a cup. And I went out to my pool that's right out there and I just filled it up and handed it to you. Would you drink it? No, all of these contaminants are calcifying your pineal gland and they're keeping your energy in a trapped state that we call the matrix. Number two is attachment to your own thinking. I always thought I was my thoughts and then I went to this 14 day silent meditation in Thailand quite a few years ago and it was terrible. It was like 14, 15 hours a day meditation, my body hurt and then I felt sorry for myself all the time and I was sitting there meditating and I was just thinking about how my neck hurt and my back hurt and I didn't wanna do this anymore. And guess what? I finally got to this point where this voice was like, hey, let go. You're believing everything that you're thinking and it's blocking you from having any type of spiritual realizations. And I started doing something. I started focusing on the rising and falling of my breath. Every time it inhaled and my belly expanded, I said to myself, rising. And every time it fell, falling. And I focused on my breath. I finally got present. I got out of my mind and I finally got present. And on the fourth or fifth day, I had this crazy out of body experience. I went into another dimension. When I was in another dimension, I saw my whole life flash before my eyes. I saw exactly what I was supposed to do with my life. I saw my first book already written chapter by chapter, exactly how it was gonna be. I saw the title of the book. I saw what was gonna happen ultimately with the success of it, where my career was gonna go. It was this moment of my third eye just instantly opened because I finally let go of my thoughts because what happens is we think so much. Psychologists say we have 65,000 thoughts in a day subconsciously. And when we attach to these thoughts, what we're really doing is attaching to ourselves as our body, which is really us attaching to ourselves as a physical person. But you exist in three planes, the physical, the mental, and the spiritual. And when you let go of your thoughts and every time you catch yourself and you take a breath, you take a deeper breath and you take a deeper breath, what happens is, Every single time you do that, it's kind of like cutting the weight that attaches you to third dimension. So you're in your meditation, you take a breath, and it's just the weight keeps cutting, the weight keeps cutting, the weight keeps cutting, and then it opens up a portal of energy. 
And that portal of energy can move you to the astral realm. That portal of energy can connect you to the universe, give you the answers that you need. In other words, it can open your third eye, raise your spiritual level of awareness, and give you all the answers and clarity that you need. Number three is processed sugars. This is another way, not only do we calcify our pineal gland, but we just mess up our health. And if you think about it, processed sugars are in everything. Cutting soda. If you still like soda, maybe try something like Zevia. This isn't even a paid ad. And what happens is, in our world, they've tried to make everything as addicting as humanly possible. That even teriyaki sauce is full of processed sugar. And the really cool thing about the time that we're alive in is there's alternatives to everything. But all of this processed junk, not just processed sugars, not just processed sodas, but think about all the processed foods that we're eating on a daily basis. All of this stuff is trapping our energy into lower levels of consciousness. And when we can free ourselves from all of this processed junk, all of this processed sugar, we get a whole bunch more energy and we can start to redirect that energy to our own spiritual growth. Number four is to go outside. There's been studies that have shown that mental health increases in oxidized environments. So that's why I moved to the beautiful state of Utah. And when we were in the other shot, you could see my, my background and my house. One of the reasons that I picked moving to Utah is because the town I'm in, in every single direction for hours, is surrounded by nature in every single direction. And so I thought about it. I spent my whole life in Southern California. There's track homes everywhere for, for hours in every single direction. There's all of this electromagnetic toxicity and all of this rat race energy. And I thought, well, what would the vibe be like if I was surrounded by nature in every direction? I could just hop in my car and in 10 minutes, I could be in the middle of nowhere. When you get outside in nature while you're meditating or you just get outside in nature for a few minutes of day to breathe in the fresh air and connect yourself to your true self, because we're not these little meat suits that are supposed to be in boxes our whole life. And when we connect to nature and we connect to the, the beautiful oxygen that's out there, what happens is we instantly raise our energy. So to tap into higher levels of awareness, to open your third eye, you can do it very quickly when you start to move yourself in an environment that is spiritually conducive. Number five, to open your third eye is to release anger and jealousy. And one of the ways you can do this in a meditation if you're wanting to open your third eye is to instead of trying to open your third eye, instead try to open your heart. And think of somebody that maybe wronged you, maybe you've, you've pushed it down into your subconscious. It might be an ex, it might be a business partner, it might be your mom, it might be your dad, it might be a family member. Call onto the screen of your mind their face and repeat to yourself, I love you, I forgive you. And repeat those words over and over, I love you, I forgive you. Comment that down below, I love you, I forgive you. Comment it down below, seriously. And as you're pulling them onto the screen of your mind in your meditation and you repeat that, I love you, I forgive you. Do it until you feel your energy shift, until you feel your emotions shift, until you feel a weight drop out of your body. And when you feel that weight drop out of your body, that's you clearing out the lower chakras. And then from there, you can imagine all of that opened energy that was stuck. You can imagine all that open energy moving up through your spine, and then you can practice projecting it out. So you clear that, I love you, I forgive you. And then with each breath after that, you imagine this energy moving from your feet up through your spine. And with each out breath, you can imagine projecting that energy out through your third eye. And as you start to do that, you may get a guide that shows up. You may get an answer that shows up. You may have all these colors that you start to see, or you may see your future but you're gonna to start to be able to use your spiritual vision more clearly once you release 
older and, and more stored anger and jealousy that's trapped deeper into your chakras. Number six, a lack of sunlight on your cells. What is the sun? It's pure, unlimited energy. And we already know from the good old COVID that people that were sick the most had lowest levels of vitamin D, right? So we know that sunlight affects our immune system, but what we don't realize is that sun, in a, in a limited amount, it restores the cells of your body. It activates the cells of your body. It releases toxins from your cells and it connects you to something larger than your little mind. And one of the most powerful ways to do this is when you do a quick meditation where you're trying to activate and open your third eye, you sit outside. And when you sit outside and you focus on the point between your eyes and you allow the sun to be a medium that can uplift your energy, you can use that as a portal to move you into a higher dimension. Number seven is you're not sweating toxins out of your body. I just bought a brand new sauna and I'm really excited about it. But think about this, whether it's the water that we're drinking, whether it's the food we're eating, or it's just the general environmental pollutants that we have on a day-to-day -day basis, all of that traps not only in your electromagnetic field, but it traps in your body, it traps in your cell, it traps in your blood. And unless you're sweating all of that out, what you're doing is you're holding heavy metals and old toxins in your body that trap you back into the matrix. And just simple sweating, whether it's a sauna, whether it's exercise, it purifies your body, it purifies your cells, and it allows you to tap into a higher spiritual awareness. Last but not least is number eight, you are unable to forgive. If you are unable to forgive, you trap yourself into lower chakras and into lower energy. And when you trap yourself and you can't get past your heart chakra because of old trauma that happened, what's occurring is your energy gets trapped down here. If you think of your spine like a um, spiritual pipeline, what you really are is an electromagnetic field of energy that extends far beyond your own body. You have a field of energy. And when that field of energy is moving fluid, it's moving like this, just like the waves go in and out. You have a field of energy that's moving. But when you have forgiveness that hasn't been complete, you trap your energy down here into the lower chakras. So ask yourself, who do you need to forgive? Is it a parent? Is it an ex? Is it yourself? When you can practice forgiveness, and it doesn't mean that you just all of a sudden hang out with that person again. What it means is you let go of the anger and the old trauma that you're carrying within your own energy field. In my first book, Into the Wind, I wrote that forgiveness is the alchemy of the soul that returns the possibility to the human spirit. It moves, it allows your energy to start moving again. For example, I really, really, really wanted to be a college speaker. And I had this mentor and he ended up taking off with all my money and I was so pissed off. This guy took my, all my money and then he also pulled the rug out from me from what I thought I wanted to do in my life. And I was so angry about it and I didn't know what to do. And finally, I was meditating and I realized I didn't even want to do any of that. And I, and I was like, oh my God, God brought this guy into my life to screw me over in order to spiritually liberate me. And all of a sudden, all my energy opened up. All of a sudden, I'm sitting there and I get this whole vision for what I really want to do with my life. I get this whole vision for YouTube and this channel and all these types of things like that. And it was like this moment where all of a sudden my third eye activated, I saw my whole life with clarity. Instead of out of fear, instead of like, I need to do this thing and be a college speaker because of this, all of a sudden I was free from it. So the question is, who do you need to forgive and what do you need to let go of? So this video was eight things that might be blocking your third eye. And when you do this, 
you're not only gonna raise your energy, you're not only gonna feel better, but you're gonna activate a higher level of spiritual awareness, get the clarity that you need in your life. If you enjoyed this video, be sure you get my free financial success hypnosis. It's right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com. It's pinned to the comments and in the description right there down below. And you can start to use it to reprogram the old subconscious patterns, the old limiting belief systems that are blocking you from getting what you want. Give me a comment down below that says, I am pure light, because that's what you are. The only reason we can't activate our third eye, the only reason we can't get in touch with the divine and commune with the divine and get the answers we need is because we're trapped in our bodies and we don't understand that our bodies are pure light anyways. So we get into this low moving state of just thinking we're this little old mass of matter. But what you really are is a very high frequency of light. And when you are aware of that and you identify with yourself as soul and as spirit, then you open up the pipeline for the universe to speak and move through you. So comment down below, I am light. If you haven't yet, be sure you hit the like button on this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe. Bell notification is what notifies you for new videos. And I'll see you on the next one.